Hi there, let's take a look at sustainable energy for the GCC geography exam. Starting off with carbon footprint. Our carbon footprint is a measure of the number of greenhouse gases produced by an individual's activities. Carbon footprints include direct and indirect emissions. Direct emissions are those produced by objects that use energy, like commuting, air travel, and using electrical appliances. Indirect emissions are those produced when making the things we buy. So the emissions produced when making the food that you eat. Which of the following is a measure of the amount of greenhouse gases produced by an individual's activities? Carbon footprint, oxygen footprint, nitrogen footprint, or helium footprint? The correct answer is carbon footprint. What kind of emissions are produced by objects that use energy? These are direct emissions. Now let's have a look at energy conservation. The sustainability of energy supply can be increased by conserving, meaning using less energy. There are different strategies for energy conservation, such as reducing demand, which can be reduced by encouraging people to turn off lights when possible, only boiling the water they need, using more efficient appliances, and walking, cycling, or using public transport. But we can increase the efficiency of fossil fuels. Hybrid cars, vans, and trains increase efficiency by combining diesel and electric power. Regenerative braking is when vehicles are fitted with the devices that store energy loss through braking for later use. Laws and rising fuel costs are putting pressure on energy manufacturers to develop more efficient engines. Sustainable design. Good insulation means less energy is needed to heat a building. Modern boilers are more efficient than older models. Using electric cars, vans and trains instead of petrol or diesel motors. Models. Fitting solar panels to roofs. So let's quickly recap that. What are the different examples of energy conservation strategies? There's reducing demand, sustainable design, and increasing efficiency of fossil fuel use. Good insulation means energy is needed to heat, less energy is needed to heat, to heat a building. This is an example of sustainable what? This is an example of sustainable design. Now let's take a look at rice husks in Bihar, India. In the northeast of India, which is a newly emerging economy, there is a rural state called Bihar. Only 15% of people in Bihar have access to electricity. A scheme began in 2007 to use rice husks, which is a form of local biomass, to generate electricity. Rice husk power plants. Small, local, simply designed power plants can use rice husks, which is a waste product from rice production, to generate electricity. The contents of each plant are a rice husk gasifier, filters that clean the gas, gas turbine, generator and distribution system. Benefits. It's very efficient to produce energy locally. Using biomass to produce electricity to reduce the burning of fossil fuels and power plants also produce jobs for local people. So, what is a, which of the following is a waste product from rice production that can be used to generate electricity? Is it rice tusks, rice busks, rice musks, or rice husks? The correct answer is rice husks. What are the components of a rice cusk power plant? Rice husk gasifier, right, filters to clean the gas. Gas turbine, generator, and distribution system. Direct or indirect emissions. Which emissions are produced when making the things we buy? These are indirect emissions. And direct emissions are produced by objects that use energy. The following is not an example of an energy conservation strategy. So it decreasing efficiency of fossil fuel use, sustainable demand, sustainable design, or reducing demand. The correct answer is decreasing efficiency of fossil fuel use, because we should be increasing the efficiency. And that's everything you need to know about sustainable energy for your GCC job.